Still no word if classes will be held at Lehoku and Makaha Elementary Schools tomorrow. Two wildfires forced officials to cancel what was supposed to be the first day of the school year. Manola Morales is in Waianae with the latest. Manola? Yeah, Joe, the flames got dangerously close here at Lehoku Elementary School as well as some of the homes nearby. Now, this is day three of battling wildfires in the area, and there are some concerns about resources getting spread too thin if those goes on too much longer. Firefighters battled the flames from the air and on the ground. Before noon, the fire spread dangerously close to some homes and Lehoku Elementary School. Yeah, it's super close. You can really you can see, feel the heat. My neighbor's house is right there. We're really close to our neighbors. Just knowing that at any moment, their house could get, get on fire. Called my wife, uh, called 911, and then uh, started helping the neighbors uh, wet down their houses and wet down some of the brush that was closer to the house. Firefighters spent the day trying to build a fire break to keep the school and nearby homes from getting damaged. Fuel load is very dry. Um, uh, it's been a hot summer. Um, uh, we haven't had a fire in a long time. There's a lot of fuel load out there, so all of these things are combining. Officials say fire companies from all over the island have been called in as the flames have scorched nearly 9,000 acres since Saturday. Federal and state firefighters are also pitching in. Engines are coming from the windward side of the island. They're coming from town. They're coming as far away as Kahuku to come here and fight the fire. HFD has also called on the recruits to help out. We had um, eight recruits that, had, that are part of the class. They had just finished firefighting. They had fished, just finished their wildland. They have some nice new uniforms, PPE, so that they can jump into, get a little dirty like that, and they're out there in the field with us. Now, the Department of Education tells us that it is monitoring the situation. It will make the decision tomorrow on whether the schools will open. As soon as we hear, we will air it on Wake Up Today, as well as send a push alert through our KHON2 news app. Joe, over to you. Thanks, Manolo. The brush fires in Makaha continue to burn. Today, firefighters focused much of their efforts in the Amanu Naolu subdivision using multiple resources. Significant progress has been made, but the fires are still not contained.